What's up, y'all? Y'all know what it is. Let me turn this down real quick. Welcome inside your casa. Let's uh, get it cracking. So, these are harness, obviously. This is the Z6 harness here. Boom, boom, boom. That one is the uh, H22 OBD1 harness. So, we're going to make a modified conversion tuck harness. I don't know if it's going to be tucked, but it's going to be definitely modified uh, conversion harness um, for the H. So I've got to get these plugs off and extend them to these ones, which are the you know, same one as that one. The wires should be the exact same. Uh, sorry. Let's see. Got the wires here. Same stuff, the blue wire down there at the bottom. So, it's all the same ish wiring. So, <clears throat> colors are about the same on OBD1. About the same. They're not all the same, but they are all about the same. So, um, we're going to get this harness uh, taken apart, and then uh, I'm going to get that one taken apart, and then once I get them both taken apart I'll show you what to do next what's up everybody so we got this all off old z6 harness GSR harness z6 harness works the same way as an h22 harness okay so h22 harness uh, h22 harness is here you're gonna need a few plugs off of this h22 harness depending on your harness that you've got that z6 or gsr if it's chopped up or whatever you can take you know same plugs you just have to match them up like i'm going to show you right now so since this is not the same all you gotta do is light it up like that like you would be normally like it would plug into the thing and just follow the the wiring on the on here so the blue one is the top right and the red and white one is our Whatever fucking color that is. Yellow and white. I don't know. It's a bunch of colors on it. Anyway, yellow and white. Just line it up like that. On here, the same way. And you'll get what colors you need uh, to, to plug and play. So it looks like. Goddamn harness thing, man. Fuck, I swear. They're good, but they're bug. So the harness thing is looks like the red and white and the looks like the red and white and the white and green go to the blue and this is yellow and white this one right here this one so uh strip them and you get it you know you know how to do so I'll come back I'm going to I'm going to plug after I get these all wired up uh, also that one's different for the H22 um, the stock one for the the normal one that goes on there for the uh, shit I just had it and I don't know where it goes <laughs> Uh, the normal one. Oh, here it is. Okay, so yeah, that's right. I plugged it in with these ones back here. 
Um, the normal one that goes on there is this one here, which is a boop, plug and play uh, oil pressure. But this oil pressure that goes on the H is a hold one. So you put that on there. So you just plug that in, just wire those up like I'm gonna do. And I'll show you, I'll be back when I show you. So be right back. All right guys, so the exposed wire, sorry about the noise in the background. So the exposed wire, this is the Z6 harness here. The Z6 harness is on this side. And the this is the H22 uh, extension. So the blue wire that was on the Z6 goes to the red and white wire on the H22 OBD1. Uh, the blue and white wire go to the green or the other blue and white wire on the uh, same plug as well and the yellow and white goes to the green and white and the black and yellow go to the black and yellow and then this plug obviously or this wire obviously goes on this one right here and that'll get you going for the extension so that wire is done and then you know same goes for this one so you take that, run it out, extend it. And I'm gonna take the harness here and plug it up to the uh, motor now and see what other wire needs to be extended, what other wires need to be extended out. Once I find that out, I'll show you guys that. So I'll be back. All right, so, all right, so we got it on the motor. It's the H22, obviously. And then we have the engine harness on the motor. As you can tell a little bit, it looks much cleaner. And I've got the injector wires tucked, boom, run, boom, in there, click, click. Everything is going to be tucked, hidden. So that looks way smooth, way clean. Hid that, hide those away, blam. Tuck that all away. That's all hidden. These are plugged. That's not plugged in, but you know, you know what I mean? So this stuff down here, plugged in. VTEC plug. This is one of the plugs you're gonna have to run. You're gonna have to run the VTEC switch. Uh, the VTEC solenoid switch to the ECU, which easy, that those have been done many a times. So got the distributor in. The starter over there. This here is the the side there. I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna take this off. So let me take that off now. I'm thinking about it. You know, I like to keep my nuts and bolts, especially these 10 mils and stuff like that. You know, you never know what you might need one for. You might lose a, lose a, uh, or you might need to use that. Take that, boom, boom. Okay. Um, I'll take that, put it in my bolt box, nut box. Keep dropping on the floor. All right. So yeah, take that off. It's way clean. And this goes on the other side. So what you would do is you would, you know, loom these up, tape them up real clean, make it look real nice and neat. Boom. Get it suctioned to the to the motor. You know what I mean? Loom it up. It, this is my way of doing it. Okay. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it the, this is like the cleanest and quickest way you're gonna make a tucked engine harness um, out of a stock harness and just extend a few wires or whatever. This is the same way you would tuck an engine harness on your on your regular, so a regular engine harness, you would just extend the wires out, get another, uh, another harness and take the wires from that, unloom it and unwrap it 
take all the wires out, unpin them, and then they just extend all these wires out the same way. This is just different because this is on an H22. This is a uh, a DX chassis uh, Z6 uh, D16 Z6 harness uh, being modified for a you know for a uh, H22 fit. So uh, this is the VTEC plug. Obviously, this is the VTEC plug. Boom, there. Uh, I have the VTEC plug and everything. I just have to repin it and find out what these two wires are pin it in and then uh i think this is the i'm not sure what that is honestly i'm not sure what that is um i'll figure that out uh and let's see uh, so yeah you would tape these up freshen them up clean them up make it tight to the motor you know clean as far as what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape them up boom get them all sweet looking tape them up tight get everything all tight run it down through here so it looks super fucking clean super sweet you know what I mean boom knock these out get those all tight that's all tight get this all run down and 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 locked away tighten that all up all these are all plugged in down here you know these are all all in so there's a couple plugs there. Boom, boom. This here is that. This here, I am guessing this second plug here goes to uh goes to this plug here over here. This plug here goes to that one there. Um Yeah. That's about it really. Uh yeah, you get these all loomed up, taped up all nice, and you know extend it out the way you want them and then you'd have a nice clean no engine harness you can't even really tell that's on there but all the plugs are plugged in so um this one here you could run it super sweet this one here you just run it like that or i mean i really haven't really run many ways of of you know up under here under there click 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 like that um uh, for the TPS there, the other one's down there, and then for the uh, for the IAC valve, the other one's down there as well. So it's all there. Uh, boom it up, take it apart, extend them out. Uh, some people put them inside their cars, like the take these and take the other part. And, uh, I didn't do it with this one, but you can get an idea of what I'm what I'm saying. So these are the plugs that need to plug in to the OBD-1 harness there. Um, they take these, this here, and they shove it all back in there. Boom, down in there. And then they take the harness there, put it inside the chassis, inside inside the car, down underneath where the foot pedal is and stuff, and then run it all nice up uh, underneath the dash across. And then they just get it run nice and then run all the wires outside of one of these grommets or cut a hole down in the bottom, like sort of like that, you know, and then they run it out to the car, out to the thing. And it's all, you know, like that, like, like I took it apart already. Like, so it's all in how your preference of how you want to do it. This is my quick way of doing it. Easy. Take it apart. Extend a few wires. Loom it all up, get it nice and sweet looking so it's, you know, electrical tape. Get it all electrical taped up and get it all sweet looking, loom it all up and stuff. Get the parts that need to be extended out, loom it all up, and then suck it up to the motor. That's that's my uh, engine tuck. Um, maybe eventually I'll take it and put it, you know, underneath the dash and run it and all that stuff. But honestly, it's cool just tucked up underneath the motor and stuff, just suctioned to the motor, just tighter to the motor and cleaner. That's all I'm really looking for. I'm not really looking to delete all the wires and everything. I mean, that's sweet looking, that's cool. But like I did over there, I did delete the box and the 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 box is inside of the car. Uh, I know how to do the, the fuse box delete underneath the hood and the, um, and the um, battery, so took that and did the battery and all that stuff but you know anyway 
that's my way of doing it. I don't really want to put it inside the car, run it, and then have all the have to extend all the wires out super far. I just don't want to have to do all that, especially I don't have all the time to do all that stuff. So, again, that's how it's done. Uh, I will have more. The mount should be here today. Today is Wednesday or Thursday. Sorry, Thursday. Uh, it should be here today or tomorrow. I should be putting this fucking thing in the car today, tomorrow, or this weekend, maybe next week. I don't know. I'm not sure when, but soon. Put it in the car, get everything done. I want to get the harness done more. Get every, Put it in the car, get everything done, and then uh, call it a day. So, I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you so much, and as always, peace.